it's some posture awareness work. So if you have got your uh, bare feet, lift your toes, or if you've even got your shoes on, lift your toes and just spread your toes out a little bit, give them a wiggle, and then plant them on the floor. Well done. So uh, let's just do the easy one to start with side to side. So just a little sway side to side. And if you've got your bare feet, can you feel as you sway to this side, lift the arch of that foot? As you sway to that side, lift the arch of that foot. Do you remember how you lift the arch? By try trying to squeeze the ball of the foot towards the heel. So as we're swaying, as you get the weight on it, you're lifting the arch up if you can. And if you've got your shoes on, just try and do the same. Well done. Okay, be careful with the next one because it's the forwards and back one. So I'll just show you from the side. It's the forwards and back lean, but be careful, use the chair, especially with the back lean. And with these, just think about keeping the weight neutral uh, in the middle of the foot, not rolling on the outside, not rolling on the inside. And can you pull both arches up as you lean forward on them? So as you lean forward, lift the arches of the feet and as you straighten, just relax. So again, we're just uh, focusing on the arch of the foot there, well done. Okay, we're gonna do a circular motion. Now I'll come back to the front so you can see me. So hold on if you need to, it's a circular motion. I like to have my hands on my hips, so it's not quite the hip circle, it's slightly different. I'm keeping my legs a little bit straighter and I'm focusing on the soles of the feet. Can you go the other way? So either one hand on the chair, and if you're in the chair, just doing those top circles. Where's Nicola gone? Oh, there you are. You're standing, Cecilia. <laughs> yeah, well done. Ah, oh, here's Wendy and Roger. Hello, hello. Okay, so we've done circles one way, circles the other. Then we do our figure of eight. So push your weight forward onto your right, leg, front right leg, then pull it back, back left leg, front left leg, back right leg. And if you've got your hands on your hips, imagine you're drawing a figure of eight, horizontal figure of eight with your hips and feeling the weight transfer on the feet, keeping the arches lifted the whole time if you can. Let's go the other way. So weight on the front right, back right, front left, back left. Front right, back right, front left, back left. Well done. It's quite subtle, isn't it? But it's very good work for the uh, for the feet. Let's start. Let's start with a march now. So just get into your normal march, whether you're in the chair or on the on the uh, uh, standing. Nice tall posture. So long middle bit, long waist. <laughs> well done. Carefully do your head turns. Hold on if you need to. Turn the head one way, look over that shoulder. Turn your head the other way, look over the other shoulder. Once more, turn the head, keep the chin tucked in, and turn the head. Well done, okay. I'm just gonna hold the chair now as I pump my heels up. Now, if you've got no shoes on, see if you can go a little bit higher, so take the weight off the leg that you're pumping up. So only have the weight of the foot that you're on flat feet and see if you can go any higher and higher. Now, some of you might be able to go right up onto the tip of the toe like we did, like that. Ooh, can you do that? You have to take the weight right off the toe to do that. Well done. Or if not, just stay on the ball of the foot. Okay, just go back to the ball of the foot and do your circles with your shoulders if you can. Hold on if you need to. Two things at once, get the brain going. Well done. And just come back and relax for a moment. We're gonna raise the body weight up now. So first of all, feel heavy, have the knees slightly bent and feel your weight down. And then gradually bring the weight up by straightening the legs, lifting the heels slightly, lifting the shoulders, lifting the rib cage balance. And as you breathe out, you sink down. So feel the difference between being very top heavy lifted chest, scrunched up shoulders, and then being nice and dropped down with the shoulders dropped down. So once more, lifting everything up, tight up with the shoulders, and then down. Well done, just shake it out. Okay, let's have a quick look at what I'm doing next. We're gonna warm up the spine, aren't we, next? So we take the legs wider for these ones. The knees are soft, 
and we slide the hand down the leg to start with side to side. Well done, everyone. Try not to lean forward on these ones, remember? So if it's from the side, I go directly down that leg and I don't lean forwards. Okay, if you want a little bit more, lift the heel and stretch away a little bit more. Lift the heel, lift the elbow, only if your back is feeling okay. Well done. Good for your sidewards balance, this one, because all the fluid in your head <laughs> is swinging side to side and you're maintaining your balance. Well done, everyone. Come back to the middle when you're ready. Just get yourself settled again. Get ready with that flat of the palm. Push and push. I'm lifting my opposite heel. Well, sorry, the same heel as the same hand, is it the same side? <laughs> but I am twisting the hip. I don't know if you can see that hip little twist there as I reach. And on the last couple, just see if you can go a little bit further out and reach, and a little bit further out and reach. Well done, everyone. Good. Just shake it out, relax for a moment. Keep nice and long in the body again. We're going to do our up and overs. So legs a bit wider, knees are soft. We do a little bend in the knee and we launch ourselves up as high as we can by lifting that heel and lifting the arm. Well done. Very good. Very good. You can go a little faster if you want to. Or you can stay slow with me. And we'll do one more. Oh, I can hear my, hear my shoulders. <laughs> I wonder if you can hear yours as well. <laughs> okay, march it out. Swing those arms. Nice tall posture. We're going to move down the body into the waist, into the, the hips and the lower back now. So make sure you've got room without hitting anything to swing those arms around. I've got Daisy on the move behind me today. <laughs> she hasn't been out for a W yet. Oh dear. Thank you, Daisy. This should feel quite nice. And again, the fluid in the head is starting to move around and you're maintaining your balance nicely. You're not panicking. <laughs> And that's good. Okay, bring the fists to slight light fists and just tap under the collarbone to stimulate the lungs. Breathe and let the other fist just tap where the kidney area is. So just stimulating the kidneys as well. Brilliant. Breathe. <sighs> okay, and just come back to the swing. As you come back to the front, we're going to do our double twist now. This is a bit tougher, isn't it? This one. Remember the top body twists one way and the lower body twists the other way. So draw the elbows into the hand, into the waist, sorry. <laughs> Lift the rib cage up, twist your upper body to the right. Now twist your hips to the left. Feel the tension in the middle of the body. Come back to the front. You should feel it around here, yeah? So lift the upper rib cage, turn to the left. Now try to turn your hips to the left, the right. The opposite way to your ribs. <laughs> and back to the front. I'm getting my ribs and <laughs> my lips and rights mixed up. Let's try that again. So let's lift. Now my top body's going to the right and my bottom body's going to the left. That's right, isn't it? Okay. Back to the front, and last time, lift, top body goes to the left, lower body twists to the right, and back to the front. Oh, well done. Give your tummy a bit of a rub there, give your waist and your lower back a bit of a rub. That sort of pulls on that area there, doesn't it? Okay, let's move down into the lower hips now. So you can either have your hand on the chair if you need to, or hands on your hips. Bottom goes backwards, bottom goes forwards into that little banana shape. This is really good for the front of the body, remember? Stretching the front of the body. Keep my eyes on everyone. Well done. That's it, good. Nice, David Gorham, that's a good stretch at the front there. And then let's stay at the front now with the hips forwards and drop the elbows back. Breathe, feel the opening across the chest as well and release. Do you need your glasses on, Jeff? Can you see me? <laughs> Jeff looks like he's squinting at me. Okay, let's just march it out. 
We are going to do some nice big hip circles now. So feet flat on the floor. Feel the difference to the circles that we did at the beginning of the class. These are for the hips. So I'm, look, I'm doing a lot more with the hips, whereas at the beginning of the class, I was just doing this. Yeah? So it's a different feeling. Let's go the other way. So other way as well. Nice big hip circles. Well done. Well done, Sue Davis. You should be on the dance floor. <laughs> and release. Okay, back to the march. Right, so we formed up the lower back, haven't we? Warmed all the way down, just checking. Yeah, we're gonna do a little hip circle now. So hold the chair for this one if you unless you really don't need to. And we just lift the knee in front of us and we draw a little circle with the knee in front of us, going outwards. So it goes outwards, then inwards, outwards, then inwards. Well done. Have a little rest in between. And let's do the same leg and bring it inwards across the body. Little circle inwards across the body. It's quite strong and hard work for the hip joint, isn't it? Well done. Swap sides. I'm going to swap my chair onto the other side so you can see me, but you can swap sides on the chair if you want. Lift the knee and little circles. Doesn't have to be too big with the knee. And then have a little rest. And then little circles coming inwards. Well done. Okay, and just shake it out. In fact, let's shake it out. So one hand on the chair, give that one leg a bit of a shake. You can shake the arm out as well if you like. Shaking is very good for loosening, loosening, all these things, sorry, that's my dog, <laughs> loosening things off. And then shake the other side as well, loosening all the muscles and the nerves down those limbs. Okay, brilliant. Right then, let's do a few squats just to finish off the warm up as well. So remember, don't let the knees come forward. Push the bottom back away from you. Push the bottom back away from you. Don't go too low to start, but just see how they feel. That's good, Doreen. Well done. Lovely. Very good. Okay. How are those knees this morning? If they're really bad, don't go too low. Well done. Okay. And if you want to go a little bit lower, you can do. Imagine you're just sat on that chair and you've got to push yourself up. Well done. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit on the lunge today. If you've got bare feet, this is an opportunity to do a bit more footwork. So I'm taking my one foot back now, getting the ball of the foot on the floor and lifting the sole. It's quite easy when there's no weight on it. But then when you add that little bend, you get more of a stretch in the back foot. So just come up and bend. If you've got your shoes on, don't worry, you still get a you still get a, a good bend, don't you? Okay, let's try the other foot. So I step back, I get the ball of the foot in the in the floor, then I lift the heel as much as I can, and I just push down into that stretch a little bit. It's not really a lunge, actually. It's more slightly different to what we normally do, isn't it? Well done. Okay, and just march it out. Very good, everyone. Let's do a little bit of our balance now. So standing up nice and tall. We're going to do a one leg balance. So be careful. Where's David? Yes, you can have a sit down now. Oh, you've got two chairs. You've got two chairs. Okay, lovely. <laughs> okay, so let's lift this. We'll do a warm up balance first, just for about five seconds. Well done, David. Yeah, you sat down there. And just give that ankle a little circle round one way, a little circle round the other. Well done. Then we'll swap feet. So just a little warm up balance, one foot, one way, one foot. Yeah. Then we're gonna. I'm gonna put the timer on again. I don't know if anyone practiced this in the week. Putting your timer on for actually thirty seconds and seeing if you can balance. So uh, we've got the timer on. So I'm gonna press start now. And you've got your 30 seconds balance. That's up to, up to you how you do it. You can either do it no hands, you can turn the head, you can shut the eyes, you can wobble. <laughs> uh, see how you get on. I mean, if it's really easy, in a way, there's no point doing it if you're just standing there like a statue and there's no sort of reaction in the body. So you do actually want to get a bit of a reaction in the body. And if you need to put the foot down, put it back down and take it up. Okay, we're coming into 30 seconds. Well done. How was that today? Were you any better today? 
Let's have a go on the other side now. So adjust yourself. I'm going to press the timer. And we're going to lift that outside leg. It doesn't have to be too high because you're holding it quite a long time. If it's very high, it hurts the hip a little bit here. So I just turn from the side. All I'm doing is my one leg balance. It's up to you to make it harder. Well done, Sue. Sue's twisting her body. Natalie's doing some strange dance. <laughs> She's doing an Egyptian dance. <laughs> Flynn's waving his arms around. <laughs> Sue, be careful, Sue Davis. <laughs> We've got, no, that is, that's 30 seconds. So how did that feel? It's actually good having the timer on, isn't it, I think? So I've just got a little timer on my uh, clock. Most people, on my phone, most, most phones have got a timer on, so it's good to have a little practice. Have a little shake out with the legs now, because that is a, it's a long hold, isn't it? Okay. Right, we're gonna go straight into some walking today. So we're gonna do our heel walks first. So if you've got your bare feet, remember lift your toes, lift your feet. Toes and feet, if you can manage it, have a little walk around. Stay by the chair if you need to. Stay by the chair if, you're, if you need to. That's it. And David, you can lift your toes up while you're sitting down. Don't fall on top of him, Stella, will you? <laughs> Stella will be on your lap, David. That's it. Well done. Have you gone a little bit backwards and a little bit forwards? Can you see me? Can you see me, Jeff? I'm, I'm lifting my toes and I'm walking on my heels. Okay, is that enough? <laughs> lift the toe, uh, lift the foot and just give it a little rub at the front where your shin muscle is. So point your toe and stretch that area out there. Well done. Okay, now we're going to do the toe walk. So you're on your tiptoes and if you're on your, if you're on your bare feet, spread your toes and really get a nice base across the, the ball of the foot. And then off you go. You can stay, stay by the chair if you need to. And if you don't need to stay by the chair, have a little walk around. Well done. So if you're in your bare feet, stay nice and high. Forwards, backwards, sideways. On your tiptoes. Well done, Wendy. Looking about six foot five now. <laughs> well done, Monique. Very good. And when you've had enough, come back to your chair. And just relax the calves down by heels down, bend the knees and just tap the toes a little bit to release those calves. Okay, final walking one is the tightrope walk. So either stay by your chair if you need to, or have a little walk around the room or along the wall if you feel safe. Heel to toe, heel to toe. You might go around a corner, might walk in a circle. When you've done plenty going forwards, if, you, if it's safe where you are, have a little go going backwards as well. Remember the research is saying we should try and do 10 steps if possible, 10 steps forward, 10 steps backwards to really get the benefit of this exercise. So make sure you've done at least 10 forwards, at least 10 backwards. It doesn't have to be all in one go, you know, if your room's not big enough. <laughs> Okay, we're going to do a bit of static balance now in the foot position. So take your right leg forward and be by the chair. Be by the chair. Okay. So let's be uh, aware of where our body weight is. Have the body weight neutral, first of all, so in the middle of both feet. Now push the body weight onto the front foot. Try to lift the arch of the front foot as you put the weight on it. So lift the arch. Now come back, swing the weight onto the back foot. And again, lift the arch of the back foot if you can. So forward, lift the arch of the front foot. All those muscles around the arch, squeeze the ball of the foot towards the heel. Swing back onto the back foot and lift the arch on the back foot. Well done. Let's swap feet now. So the other foot is in front. So you've got your left foot in front now. Stand neutral to start with. Find your body weight. Is it on the inside of the feet or the outside or is it in the middle? Lean forward, lift the front arch. Squeeze that front arch up. Lean back, 
lift the back arch, squeeze the back arch up, forward and back. Well done. You might not notice the arch lifting or anything, but you'll probably feel quite a bit of aching in the feet. <laughs> so just shake it out. Well done. We're going to do one more thing with, in that position before we move on. So come back to the right leg forward and the left leg back. So swap legs again. We're going to do a little bit of toe raising here. So lift the toes of the front foot up and the foot. If you've got your shoes on, you might just lift the whole foot and the toes together. So put the foot down and then the toes down. Try and do it in two stages if you've got bare feet. Toes up, foot up, toe down, toe, sorry, feet down, toes down. Now the back leg, toes up on the back leg, foot up on the back leg, foot down, toes down, toes up on the back leg, Foot up on the back leg, foot down, toes down. Both together if you can, hold the chair. All 10 toes in the air, 10 toes in the air, then up onto the heels, up onto the heels. Toes are still pointing to the ceiling. Put the feet down without the toes touching, then put the toes down. One last time, toes in the air, 10 toes in the air. Both feet up now, just resting on the heels. Can you put the feet down without the toes going down? And then the toes down. Well done. Okay, shake it out. Let's have a bit of marching. Oh, get loose again. Let's get nice and loose again. So we'll finish this section off with uh, tapping our opposite hand to opposite knee now. Opposite hand to opposite knee. You can go fast like me, or you can just hold the chair and swap your support over if you need to. If you're feeling quite confident, start to raise the hands a little bit and pull them down if you want. Don't forget you can hold the chair if you need to. Suck the tummy in. Every time you pull the knee up, suck the tummy in. Suck the tummy in. Very good. Well done, Pat Selby. Looking good there. <laughs> and if you want to go one stage higher, you reach up really tall and pull down. Really tall and pull down. Well done. Okay, that gets the heart and the lungs going a bit, doesn't it? Okay, let's have a sit down now. So grab your band and have a drink of water. And I'll just get my band ready. You can see me all right. I might put this other light on. Oh, is that a bit lighter? Can you see me okay? So, we're doing the same timing that we've, uh, we've worked out with these bands. We're going to work the upper back first. So, we're either doing that one or you're doing that one. Whichever you prefer, you choose. I'm going to do this one. But if that's too much on the shoulders, do that one. Yeah. So let's just practice the timing without the band to start with. So pretend you've got your band in front of you. Breathe in. As you breathe out, you go one, two, squeeze. Then you breathe in as you come one, two, three. Breathe out, out, squeeze in. In, in. Okay, well done. Now we've got to get the band the right the distance, haven't we? We're doing eight. Eight today. So it needs to be tight enough that you're absolutely exhausted by the time you get to about six. <laughs> so don't make it too easy. So have a practice one. I'm just having a practice here. Now that's quite a big effort for me. I've got to slowly reduce as I come back. And when you get back, try not to let the band go baggy. So keep a bit of tension. Okay, is everyone ready? If you're doing this one, I'll just quickly go over that one. Remember it's underarm grip. I keep the band tight here. So when you go out, you squeeze here, pull the elbows back and in. Okay, right then, should we all do it? Eight, are we ready? Breathe in, bit short on that band, David. Yes, I was gonna say. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out, here we go. Out, out. 
squeeze. Breathe in, in, in. Don't let the band go baggy. Out, out. Squeeze. Number two, in, in. Don't let the band go baggy. Three, three. Squeeze. Breathe in, in, in. Breathe out, out. And number four, release, release. Good. Number five, keep breathing out. Breathing in, in. Number six, out, out. Should be tired now. Should feel it in the back of the shoulders. Got two to go. Seven, seven, seven. You're on your last legs now. Just about make it for number eight. Eight, eight. And release, release, release. Ooh, well done. Well done, well done. Loosen it out. Loosen out those shoulders. Give them a shake out as well. Okay, don't forget, if you can't manage the eight, you don't have to do it. Until that's the target. So don't overdo it if it's really hurting. Don't, you know, it's, if it just feels tired, that's fine. But if it's painful, obviously, don't do it. Right, let's get the band around the back now. And up under the armpit. So we're going to do eight for these, the same timing. I'll just quickly show you a few tips again. So remember, keep the back straight. Especially when you push the arms forward, don't let the back round and don't cave your chest in, remember? So your chest has got to be higher than your shoulders. Is that possible? Not quite. <laughs> well, as high as your shoulders, but certainly not dip down. So have a practice one. Remember, you're doing eight again. So think to yourself, is that going to be strong enough for me to be tired by five or six reps? And when we come back this time, Try not to let the band go baggy, so don't bring it all the way back. Keep it some tension. So actually, you'll probably only be going to about there, won't you, before you push forward. Okay, are we ready? Breathe in, get ready, breathe out. One, two, push out. Breathe in, 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 go again. Out, 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 in, in, in. Number three. Push and push and squeeze. Keep the tension on the band as you come back. Number four, we're halfway. Should be feeling a little bit tired in the arms now and the chest. Number five, getting tired, working through it, building the muscle. Push and go, push and go, push and go. Good. Two to go now. Do you wish you had that band shorter or do you wish you had it longer? <laughs> In, in, and last one, big effort, big push, push, push. And you can come all the way back this time. So just shake those fingers out, those wrists from holding the band and those shoulders as well. Okay, let's do the stretching for those areas now. So let's stretch the back by just rounding it, dropping the chin, pushing the arms away from us. And as you breathe in, imagine you can feel the shoulder blades expanding at the back there. And release. Good. Then we'll do the opposite. We'll do the front of the chest and roll the shoulders up, round. And if you can, can you get your hands behind you in the chair? Oops. So from the side, you look like that. You're sticking your chest out. That's it, doing. Stick your chest out, doing. <laughs> Very good. And breathe. Sorry if it looks like I keep looking over there, but I, I can see you on the telly there. So it looks like I'm turning away, but I'm actually looking at you. Okay, well done. Just shake out those shoulders. Give them a bit of shake, 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 shake. So we've worked front and back of shoulders. Let's do the arms now, biceps and triceps. Front of the arm, you can either sit on the band or you can stand on the band, whichever you prefer. I like to stand on it. Don't it feel right standing on it with bare feet, won't it? It feels a bit funny. <laughs> okay, remember to lock the elbows into the um, sides of the body, would be good to say that. And it's a pull up, isn't it? So look, my upper arm hardly moving at all. And what you don't want to do is let the elbows come away from the sides. And also, you don't want to lift the elbows. So the elbow, imagine you've got that Frankenstein bolt through your elbows, through your waist, and all you can do is this, yeah? <laughs> so, 
Practice one practice. Get the band tight so it's not loose when you get back to the start position. So the band is tight already. Pull up. If you can get your thumbs to touch your shoulders, that's good. I can't quite. <laughs> and as you go down, can you keep the band tight here? Okay, are we ready for eight? Here we go. So up, up, squeeze for number one. Release, breathe in. Don't let it go baggy. Up, up, two, squeeze. Breathe in, in, no bagginess. Up, up, three. Are you squeezing the tricep? I can feel mine working, hope you can. Up, up, four, and squeeze. Don't let the band go baggy. What are we on? Is that five? I just count. David Burrell, what are we on? Six, six, six. Down. Down, down, two more, seven, seven, seven. And this is either eight or number seven or number nine. Let's call it eight. Eight, eight. Down, down, down. Was it eight? Yes, good, okay. Should feel that at the front of the arm, yeah, from all that pulling here, pulling here, rather. Okay, let's work the back of the arm. Now that's the pair to the bicep. They work, muscles work in pairs, the front of the arm and the back of the arm work together. So we must work the back of the arm, taking the band around the shins. Now make sure the band is tight when you're in your start position. So no baggy bands at the moment. So my, my arms are by my side and my band is pretty tight. Okay, breathing in. As we breathe out, we pull back. Back, we squeeze, lengthen the arms, we come back as we breathe in. Try not to let the band go back. It might do a little bit on this one. Out, out, squeeze for number two. Breathe in as you lower the arms back to the hips. Breathe out for number three. Big, strong, long lift at the back. Come back slowly, breathing in, breathe out, out, four. Well done, slowly in, out, out, five, and slowly in, should be getting tired now, out, out, six, slowly back in, out, out, seven, and slowly back in, and it's your last one, make it a good one, all the way, squeeze, lengthen and hold, and release, 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 did you feel it? Hopefully. <laughs> okay, good. That's nodding. <laughs> right, let's do our arm stretches now. So let's do our tricep first. We all know that one, don't we? So big, tall arm, reach for the ceiling, bend that behind your head. Oh, that feels quite tight, doesn't it, after that word there? And open the armpit, chin off the chest. Brilliant. Breathe. Ah, reach up tall and let's change to the other side. Up we go. Bend it over, touch the back of the neck now. Can you touch that, it, Cecilia? Lovely, well done. Elbow nice and high, you can always help it up a little bit if you want to. That's it, Jeff, well done. Good job, and release. And then you need a bit of room to the side for this one. If you've got room, push your palms as if you were, you know, those, uh, those movies where the walls get closer and closer in those. Batman movies. Imagine you're pushing the walls out. Keep the walls out. <laughs> well done. Now rotate the wrists so the thumbs come on top and your fingers are pointing down as far as you can. And then all the way back up. Well done. Give them a little shake out. Super work. Well done. How are we doing for time? Shall we do this one? So feet, knees, hips together. Get your loop or wrap your um, band around your feet. Not your feet. Your thighs. <laughs> well done. So when you're ready, sit up tall, remember? Sit up nice and tall. Just hold the band gently so it's not going to slip off. Just wait a few minutes till everyone's ready. And just get into your start position by taking the feet a little bit wider. Now your band should be nice and taut already. So there's no baggy band when you come back to this position. 
Okay, breathing in. As we breathe out, push out, out, out. And then breathe in as you come in, in, in. Keep the band taut. Number out for number two. In for number two. So you're working on the way in and the way out. Aren't you out for number three? Out, as far out as you can. In, in, in. Number four, four, four. Release, release, release. Five, five, five. Starting to get tired on the outer thigh now. Release, release. No bagginess. Six, six, six. And coming up, last two now should be a real effort. Seven, seven, seven. And getting ready for that last one now. Big effort, last one. Hold it out. Release, release, release. So you should feel that on the outer thighs. Well done. Take your band off or your loop off carefully. And then we'll get our ankle weights on. If you've got them, pop your weights on. If you haven't got them, we'll just start working in the chair. You might want a quick drink of water or a little rest in between. So if you are ready, if you haven't if you haven't put your weights on, I mean, if you're not putting weights on, just sit up and while we're waiting for everyone, we'll just take one leg out and lift and hold it up today. So we're just holding that leg up while we're waiting for everyone. Flex the foot if you can. Go down slowly. Let's try the other leg. So heel, straight leg, lift, flex the foot if you can. Hold it on that leg muscle here. Lower down. We'll do that once for each side. So don't worry if you're still putting your weights on and getting ready, that's absolutely fine. Just holding the leg out, flexing the foot, using our thigh muscles to hold it. Lower down. And last one. Lift, flex the foot. Release. Well done. Now don't forget, if you're too far back on your seat, if, you're, if your seat is down by your knees here, it's going to be super easy. So I can't see where your bottom is. So make sure there's some thigh, some of your thigh hanging off the chair there. So when you're holding it up, you've actually got a lot of leg, a lot of leg, and you've got a lot of leg off the chair. <laughs> Let's all do a little bit of chair work before we stand up now then. So let's have that right leg out, tummy in. You can hold the chair if you want that extra support. Lift it up, and we're gonna just lift it up and down, up and down, up and down. It's quite strong, the front of the thigh, up and down. And I want you to just do this for as long as you can. I'm not gonna say stop, you do it. And when you can't do it anymore, you stop. And I'll wait till everybody's finished, unless I need to stop first. <laughs> oh my goodness, is anyone still going? Natalie, are you still going? <laughs> oh my goodness, right, we'll all stop there. <laughs> you did too well on that one. <laughs> Let's try the other one. So get the leg long and strong and straight, and you're starting about horizontal if possible. So don't do it too low, because that will be too easy. We're doing it horizontal if possible, and just wiggling it, not wiggling it, lifting it up and down. Strong tummy, strong back. Keep going for as long as possible. So there's some research coming out about strengthening and, and fitness now about, um, how do they say, it's, it's sort of self-timed workout. Rather than saying you've got to do eight, you actually gauge it for yourself. You do as much as you can you on that day and they're saying that that's got some real benefits so we might start introducing that a little bit if we can it's a bit tricky in the class so when we're all doing different timings anyway shall we all stand up are we ready One, two three if we come round to the back of the chair if you're staying in the chair that's fine you can just do the leg work in the chair 
Well done, Cecilia. Hold on to the frame, Cecilia. Make sure you're holding on. Yeah. And if you're in the if you're if you're in the chair, David, you just do when we do the leg ones, you just swing it out to the side, yeah. So you're doing something, yeah. Okay, so you know this one side leg lift, right leg first. Try and flex your toe if you can. Try and keep it off the ground. We're doing five in a row without stopping if possible. So lift the heel up, take it out, out, hold, slowly lower, stay on one leg if you can. Out, out, hold, slowly lower, stay on one leg unless you need a rest. Out, out, hold, slowly lower, Let's do six actually. Out, out, hold. You can always balance there if you can. Lower, lower, lower. And last one. Out, out, hold and balance. In, in, in. Well done. Just relax. If your back's a little bit sore, just give it a little bit of a wiggle, a bit of a stretch out, see how it feels. Loosen off the back. It does pull on the back a little bit, that one, doesn't it? Okay, let's change legs. So on the other side, when you're ready, try to keep a really strong posture, really strong core muscles. Flex the foot so your toes are off the ground. And it's up, up, and a hold when you get to the top. Lower, lower, lower. Push it out again. Out, out, hold. Lower, lower, lower. Number three, three, three. Lower, lower, lower. Number four, four. Squeeze and hold and balance. Lower, lower, lower. Number five, five, five. Well done, everyone. We've got one more to do. Last one. Hold and balance. Down, down, down. Oh, well done, well done, well done. Just shake those legs out, loosen off. Do whatever you need to, just stretch the back out if you need to a little bit. Well done. Whoa. Okay, right, we must work the back of the leg muscle with those hamstring muscles. So come close to your chair for this one. And we're going to pull the heel up behind us. Just have a few little practices, pulling one heel, then the other up. And I just quickly show. So if you're in the chair, David, try and just get that heel up a little bit behind you if you can. Yeah, a little bit behind you. So you're still working the back muscles. If you want to stay in the chair, you can do. You're sitting down, Jeff. I was just showing people who were in the chair, but that's fine. You do it like that. Yeah, you do it like that if you want to. So lift the heel up behind you. And if you're standing, or you're sitting down as well, yeah. Stay sitting down, doing it sitting down if you want to. So let's lift up, 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 lower, lower, lower. Stay seating, doing if you want. That's fine. Up, up, up. And lower, lower, lower. I think some people are getting confused because I'm showing it sitting down and standing up. Sorry. So if you, if you are using the chair, I'm showing you what to do in the chair. If you are standing, I'm showing what to do when you're standing. But at any point, if you do feel like it's too much standing, you can sit down. Well done. Okay, let's do one slow one on each side. So get ready, up, up, squeeze, lower, 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 change legs, up. Up, squeeze, lower, 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 well done. And just give them a little rub out there, back of the thigh is where you should feel it. So just swing one leg out in front of you, rest on the heel, hold the chair, just bend over the chair a little bit and you should feel a bit of a stretch here. Swap legs, so just stick the heel out. Hold the chair, push your bottom backwards away from the chair and feel the stretch. Well done. Okay, we're going to do some calf work today. So feet hip distance apart. If you've got bare feet or, or shoes on, we're going to raise up onto the top of the ball of the foot. 
and lower down. If you've got bare feet, lift your toes, give them a wiggle, spread them wide, and then go up again. And down. Okay. Up, up, up. Down, down, down. Up, up, up. Down, down. Good. Up, up, up. Down. Now, if you want to stay on two feet, keep doing that. If you want to lift one to make it a little bit harder, you can. Up, 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 down, down, down. Stay on that leg if you're on the leg. One, two, three, down, down, down. One more on that leg if you can. Up, up, up. Don't forget you can stay on two feet if you want to. Swap feet or stay on two feet, three on the other side. Up, 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 down, 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 up, up, up. Are you doing it, David? Down, 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 I can't see your toes. Up, 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 and last one, down, down, down. Oh, well done. Just shake those ankles out. And let's go into our calf stretch now. So taking one leg back. Pushing the heel down and bending the front knee. If you're on the chair, I'm going to show you if you're sitting down, all you do is push your heel away and pull your toe up towards you. Yeah, if you're in the chair. Swap legs when you're ready. So nice big step back. And remember to do this if you've been out for a walk or something and your legs are nice and warm. Then you can give your calves an extra stretch, can't you, Mum? <laughs> you have to find a tree to stretch against though, don't you? Hey, you'll be round in my garden soon, Mum, won't you? Only a few days to go before we get allowed around people's gardens, isn't it? Okay, little march, just to loosen off if you haven't got your weights on, if you've got your weights on, just super slow. Okay, we're going to leave the, the ankle weights there now, so get your chair. Come round to the front, make sure your legs are against it and you're fully safe. And then we're going to sit down slowly. So when you're ready, take your time, everybody. Don't rush. Just do it under your own timing. You know, it takes longer for some people. Well done, Stella. That's lovely. Ooh, super. Super Stella. <laughs> okay, take your weights off if you've got them on. And you can hold them on your chest if you want to. We'll do a little bit of core work. If you don't want to hold them on the chest, you can either cross your hands or hold your temples. You need to be quite near the front of the chair. You can start if you're ready. There's a few people getting ready, but you know what to do. It's leaning back, raising forwards. But don't hurry. If you're still getting ready, that's fine. Well done, Sonia. Lovely work with those weights. Toes are coming off the ground a little bit. Try to keep your feet on the ground. And then, rather than copy me, think about your own muscles on this one and think about where you want to work and get to your hardest point and hold it for as long as you can. The muscles might start shaking a little bit or you might feel it like it's just too much to hold anymore. And then when you need a break, come forward. So just take your own timing here. Hold long back. If you're feeling any pain in the back, don't do it. It should be all work in the front of the area here, the tummy area. So you can come back and forward as fast or as slow as you like. Where's Monique? Can you feeling it in the tummy, Monique? Good. Okay. Just one more hold if you can. Hold it, hold it, hold it as long as you can. To be feel yourself thinking that's enough and then finish off when you're ready and just relax down and have a little breather. <laughs> okay, excellent work. Uh, pop your weights down just for the moment and we're going to do a little twist after that to help just release some of the tension that we've built up in the tummy. So nice and tall, turn the body round, knees stay facing forwards. Body twists, 
Keep the spine long and the shoulders down. Look over your back shoulder if you can. And come back to the front nice and carefully. Relax for a moment. Lift, twist, look over. Keep your knees facing forwards. And back to the front, well done. Hands on the lower rib cage. Just a little twist if you can, just a little twist to loosen it out a little bit. Well done. Everybody feeling okay? Super, give your, give your lower back a bit of a rub there. Up and down the kidney area, little circles in between the ribs and the ribs and the hips. There's a little gap, isn't there? A little muscular gap there. <laughs> well done, very good. Okay, we've got time. Yes, we have got time. Great, grab your balls if you've got one, your board. I'm gonna do a little bit. Oh, blimey. <laughs> do a bit of throwing and catching. Throwing the ball with myself. And yeah, don't forget, don't forget to do this. You know, a couple of times a day, maybe when you've uh, when you've sat down, keep the ball by your on your sofa, and just when you have a sit down before you have a cup of tea or something, have a little bit of doing some catching, throwing, catching. Very good for your ball. As Roger got a ball out there, Wendy. <laughs> Don't throw it down the stairs, Ronnie. <laughs> well done. So you can just do any sort of games with balls, playing, throwing, catching, clapping. All sorts of things really good for your reaction time okay well done pop it between the knees for now well done pat i hope you haven't got a lamp shaker <laughs> and let's do a little bit of work on the inner thighs i'll just show you from the front can you all see me have you got your ball cecilia is it coming oh i can't see it oh that's all right yeah well done so breathe in <laughs> As you breathe out, squash that ball, squash that ball tight. Feel the tension up the legs all the way to the hips. Imagine you're that pair of pliers and you're squeezing and clamping those hips together. And then release, stretch and bend the legs out. Well done. Let's do that again. So you're a big pair of pliers. And you're going to clamp. Breathe in as you breathe out, clamp the ball, clamp up the legs, clamp the hips together. Oh, tall spine, keep breathing. That is a lot to ask. <laughs> and release. Oh, well done. If you're doing it properly, you'll feel quite a big pull in the legs there. Okay, let's build, let's build in the pelvic floor as well. So just to squeeze on the legs. Let's try not to get any movement on the outside. Just draw and suck in the pelvic floor on the inside. Up, 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 hold. And release gently, pull it up, 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 hold. Release gently, pull it up again, up, 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 hold. Don't forget, this is just a little reminder. You need to be doing these every day for them to be effective. Up, 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 up hold. And let's just do some little pulsing as well now. So pulse, the pelvic floor in and in, in and in, in, in. In, 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 in. How long could you keep going? How long could you keep pulsing for? Could you do 50, do you think? Okay, and release. Oh, very good, everyone. Right, have a good time. Let's just do a few neck stretches. Yeah, we'll leave, we'll leave the wrists today. We'll go straight into the next week stretch so I don't overrun too much today. So uh, make yourself comfortable. You're not actually leaning back on the chair, but you're just sitting comfortably and we'll do the neck twist. So turn the head, look over the shoulder as far as you can. Keep the chin tucked in slightly. So from here, it looks like that. Then turn the head the other way. Keep the chin tucked in slightly. And back to the front. Just slightly different. This time we turn the head and then we try to get the chin down towards the collarbone. Lift it up, turn the head again. When you get fully on the other side, just take, turn the chin down and almost try and place it on your collarbone. 
the same time as you're pushing the head round. And up, well done. Okay, just loosen out the shoulders a little bit. We'll do our head retraction, so fingertips on the chin. Draw the chin backwards. And release backwards. And release one more. Pull the chin back, back, back. And release. And again, try and do those a couple of times a day as well. Especially if you've been doing something like this and you notice that you're a bit slouched. Yeah, get your head back and pull it back. Pull it back. 